Naughty little mouse, Percy. The naughty little mouse. Percy was bored during the summertime. He told his mother he would go out to help buy some bread in the town. On the road to the town, he met a little red squirrel, and his name was Nutty. Percy quickly forgot about why he intended to do at the very first beginning. As Percy chatted with Nutty, they discovered a shared love for adventure and mischief. Why don't we explore the village together? suggested Nutty, with a mischievous twinkle in his eye. Percy was thrilled. That sounds like a grand idea, he exclaimed, his thoughts about bread completely forgotten. The duo scampered off, eager to explore and play. Their first stop was Mrs Bramble's garden. Mrs Bramble was a kindly hedgehog who was very proud of her flowers, especially her beautiful roses. Nutty, with his love for climbing, couldn't resist the urge to scale the trellis. Percy watched in awe as Nutty bounded up, but in his excitement, Nutty accidentally knocked over a pot, sending soil and flowers tumbling down. Oh no! gasped Percy as they heard Mrs Bramble coming. Quickly, they scurried away, giggling but feeling a hint of guilt as they left the mess behind. Their next adventure led them to the village square, where the annual fair was being set up. Among the new faces was a jovial rabbit named Benny, who was trying to hang banners. Percy and Nutty, eager to help, or so they thought, jumped in without asking. In their haste, they tangled up the banners, causing a colourful chaos that left everyone in a muddle. Benny wasn't pleased. Oh, what have you done? He sighed as he looked at the tangled mess. Percy and Nutty, realising their mistake, apologised profusely and promised to help fix it. As they worked to untangle the banners, a wise old owl named Mr Hoot observed them from his perch above the square. He had seen the whole incident and decided it was a good moment to teach these young ones a lesson. After the banners were fixed, Mr Hoot called Percy and Nutty over. You two seem to have a lot of energy and eagerness to help, he began in his deep, wise voice. But remember, good intentions are best paired with careful actions. Percy and Nutty listened intently as Mr Hoot continued, It's wonderful to play and have fun, but not at the expense of others. Think about how your actions affect those around you. The friends nodded, understanding the weight of Mr Hoot's words. They thanked him for his advice and decided to be more mindful in the future. Feeling a change in their hearts, they made their way back to Mrs Bramble's garden. This time, they carefully cleaned up the mess they had made and even helped her plant some new flowers. Mrs Bramble was surprised and pleased with their change of heart. As Percy and Nutty left the Mrs Bramble's garden, still feeling the thrill of their misadventure, they stumbled upon the village's grand water fountain. This splendid fountain, a favourite spot among the forest friends, was where many came to cool off during the warm summer days. Near the fountain, they met a group of playful ducklings splashing around. Join us, quacked Dilly, the smallest duckling, who was always eager for more friends to play with. Without a second thought, Percy and Nutty jumped into the fun, chasing the ducklings around the fountain. The game of tag turned spirited as everyone darted in and out of the water streams. Percy, trying to be as quick as Nutty and the ducklings, accidentally stomped on the hose that fed the fountain, causing the water pressure to build up uncontrollably. Suddenly, with a loud pop, the hose burst, sending a wild spray of water all over the place. Water splashed over the sides, 
drenching the nearby picnic area where a group of elderly squirrels were enjoying a quiet afternoon. Tables, snacks and games were soaked, causing a mild uproar among the soggy elders. Realising the chaos they had caused, Percy and Nutty froze amidst their laughter, their hearts sinking as they saw the disappointed faces around them. As the sun began to set, Percy remembered his original task. Oh, Nutty, I forgot the bread for my family, he exclaimed. Don't worry, Nutty replied with a smile. Let's go get it together. They hurried to the town and bought the bread. On the way home, Percy felt a new sense of responsibility. He had learned that being playful and adventurous was fun, but being considerate and helpful was equally important. When they reached the burrow, Percy introduced Nutty to his siblings, Florrie, Molly and Fluffy. They all listened in awe as Percy recounted their day's adventures and the important lessons they had learned. That night, as they snuggled in their cozy burrow beneath the big oak tree, Percy felt a warm glow in his heart. He was still the naughty little mouse, but now he was a little wiser too. And as for Nutty, he had not only found a new friend, but had also learned something valuable about being a good squirrel in their lovely village. Join us for the full bedtime stories from our enchanted playlist on our YouTube channel.